As a kid, I always dreamed about standing on that stage, hold up that trophy. And I'm not going to be content until it's unanimous that I am the best. It's a good inter move in the making. And nicely struck. Oh my goodness, what a strike from so far out. Absolutely sensational. Unstoppable. Well, look at the replay here because they don't come much better than this. It's it so. Well, here's my promise to you. If I end up coaching you, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that you get there. Oh, what an astonishing goal! Almost from a different postal code. That was as clean as a whistle. You cannot strike them any better than that. Um, and you talk about mindset. I don't know a stronger, more determined, um, obsessed player. Is there anything else left for me to fight for? Not really. I've grown up idolizing players like Ronaldo and Messi. I need to create history like them. My story there is written. of attention he's been in stunning form scoring goals for fun from milan a city synonymous with high fashion the stadium might not be fashionable anymore but it remains iconic the san siro i'm your match commentator derek ray at the microphone and sitting alongside me is the former arsenal west ham and coventry midfield player stuart robson and we've got champion way special under the floodlights let's hope we're not disappointed Inter did well to regain control of the ball. Tuham. Return to Barella. Well, he's beaten his opponent. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. And over comes the corner. Well, it still could be dangerous. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. Trying to deliver it accurately and taking care of the situation. Barella. Must score! And did just enough defensively. Going through his mind, Stuart. Well, he shouldn't approach this differently to any other game. He's just got to forget the crowd and go out and play. Oh, breezing past him. Vital intervention.
Oh, keeper dealt with it. Determined defending. Target. Shot attempted. Stopped a surefire goal. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. And over it comes. That's going to get wide from there. A pity, really. Tuta. Well, they have the ball once more. It's a good inter move in the making. And nicely struck. Oh, my goodness, what a strike from so far out. Absolutely sensational. Unstoppable. Well, look at the replay here, because they don't come much better than this. He hits it so swiftly. What a goal this is. And back underway. 1-0 it is. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Dumfries. Milinkovic-Savic. Vicente. Dumfries, targets available, cross comes in, oh disappointing clearance, fine sequence of passes, well that's common sense refereeing to play advantage, he could pick out a teammate, just not testing the keeper at all with that, and possession lost, intercepted, Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. And delivered into the box. And everyone in the centre looking on as it sailed over them. Skiri. Yeah. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be an entertaining match. And putting pay to the danger. Now the cut back, and now waiting to pounce. In it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect comeback, while the move in the box is equal to it. Such good timing. What a goal. Well, there's a man who knows his team have been really good today. Just what Inzaghi would have wanted. So underway once. Vicente. Eintracht Frankfurt sloppy in possession. Oh, breezing past him. And turned onto the woodwork. And that will do it. The referee's whistle means it is officially final. Inter get the victory and the three points. The fans are going to be happy with this. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. Going forward, there was some really nice incisive play too. It's a good result for them.
Football has the power to enthrall, to captivate, and this occasion appears irresistible. Two magnificent sides intent upon impressing the wider world with a display of technical and tactical brilliance. So much riding on this, and an atmosphere to match the mood. I must say, it's hard enough to deal with the pressure of a big football occasion, but add to that the snow factor, and things really get ratcheted up. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone, and sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is group stage action from the UEFA Champions League. It's Eintracht Frankfurt up against Inter. Well, thanks, Derek. This should be a good game because Inter have played some great football so far. More of the same today. Oh, what an astonishing goal! Almost from a different postal code. That was as clean as a whistle. You cannot strike them any better than that. Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? Because that struck so sweetly. He really does surprise everybody here, not least the keeper. What a good finish that is. So underway again here, Kivic Savic. Martinelli. Big chance. Well, for power, 10 out of 10. For placement, maybe 8. For passes. Well, space for Inter in the wide position. Must be! What a vital intervention. Well, a really good run. Oh, thwarted there. And what a piece of defending we've just witnessed. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. There goes the half-time whistle. Well, a bright and positive performance so far. Interested to get your take, Stuart. Well, they're doing what they can here, but they can't affect what's going on in the other game. I thought it was a good first full... So the second half underway, and Inter looking to build upon a largely positive first-half performance. Takes the shot. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. So, back underway. He wants to enjoy it. Oh, great attacking play. Oh, might be. Chance, maybe. And you can sense the threat is there. Well, a goal to update you on. It's gone in in the City game, and Alex Scott has the details. Yeah, it's a third goal for Manchester City. They're back in this now with 76 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. And a decent might work out. Can he put it away? And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Even now, you're coming up to me, far lighting up the sky. Well, here's the replay, and it shows great awareness to play this through ball. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? It's a massive... So that is going to be that. The final whistle here. 
and they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they put a place in the knockout stages, it's still very much on for them to finish top of the group, Stuart. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Derek. It's job half done at the moment. They'll still want to take that top spot, though. It could make all the difference going into the next round. Camera lens trained on one man. He scored four in his last three. What will he produce today? And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. It is Juventus up against Inter. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played. A glorious chance. Oh, that surely had to go in. But marvellous defending. The initial cash in here. Oh, he's gone for goal. But I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. He'll use the space behind you. Drop off. Oh, you're... Stuart, they might be onto something here. Well, he went for power, but he might be having second thoughts about that now. Yeah, all power and no accuracy. That's a poor finish. Thing. Enter exploiting the space on the flank. He takes aim and a really good diving stop. And goes for goal! Oh, a smart stop. And there goes the half-time whistle. That will do it for the first half here in Turin. And so they begin the second half here in Turin. TV. And I very much hope you can join us for this game. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. And support available. A long way out. Well, just centimetres over the bar with that powerful shot. Well, he's frustrated, of course, but he knows they're now... Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Marcinelli. On to Turam. And nothing comes of this attack. Five coming up on... Oh, they're in here, Derek. And a goal! That will do it! They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. see what a good goal this is he hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance that's a great strike well he has to come up with a game plan his side is struggling now So underway again here. Can Inter come up with the right answer? It is advantage Juve. Can he play it in? Well, he keeps going. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. And there's the delivery. Well, the danger is still there. What a block! Breaking at pace. Milinkovic Savic. Jan Orhan Bisek. Cuts it back. And keeping it out change things around both teams going to the bench Lo Celso and a goal to level the top late on here just look at the reaction Movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. 
That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Well, he knows this is going to be a tough game now. He's got to get his side playing again here. So, a level contest. What a one. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. And with that, the final whistle. A draw here then, a point apiece, focusing specifically on Inter. What did you think? Derek, you can't always be at your best. And on those days, you have to grind out the result. And that's exactly what they did today. It was a really good late equaliser.